Hey everybody, Bill, the Hall of Fame collector here, and it's time for another video. This one's a really big one. It's going to be by itself. Um, but this one is going to be my first controversial video, and you'll see why. Um, so uh, earlier this year, I uh, picked up my uh, 254th Hall of Famer, um, Alex Pompez, or Pompey, however you pronounce it. Um, my goal was one a year, so I, uh, I met that. But um, I outdid myself this year, um, and I have another one here. So um, without further ado, here is number 255. All right, born 1824, died in 1908, class of 1938. It's Henry Chadwick. He is known as the father of baseball, the first writer and promoter of the game. Uh, without him, perhaps we wouldn't have baseball today. Um, he invented the box score with runs, hits, putouts, errors, assists. Uh, also invented ERA, batting average. Also the first to use the word, letter K for strikeout. Uh, editor of Spalding's Official Baseball Guide and argued against Doubleday being the person that invented the game. So huge, huge, huge pickup. Here we go. All right, guys, here it is. This is um, Henry Chadwick. Um, it is a small, I think it's like five by seven, um, it's a poem, and it is signed on the bottom, Henry, for Henry Traddock. Let me see if I can zoom in here. So there we go. Um, it's really, really, really fine print. Um, undeniably his handwriting, um, and, uh, to his wife. Um, so really, 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 really cool. Um... I might as well just pause here and explain a little bit. Um, so uh, Henry Chaddock was somebody that I um, did not expect to ever own. Um, he's pretty expensive. Full name signatures could go for $4,500 to $50,000, depending on if it's like on a document, a, um, a photograph, um, things like that. You know, I know I've seen cuts themselves go for, you know, $4,500, $5,000, um, which is crazy. And uh, I kind of wrote him off as somebody I'll never have um, until this popped up. And um, so, you know what, let me take a shot. Um, I paid, uh, including buyer's premium, um, plus or minus, uh, what was it, $750 or $800 for it including a buyer's premium shipped to my house. Um, and it does have a, a letter of authenticity. I believe it's JSA. Um, it came from the Barry Halper um, uh, collection originally. Um, and again, there are a few of these poems that exist um, to his wife. Um, I, I know I of one or two of them that are fully signed, but most of them are basically um, signed Henry at the end. Um, so the controversy uh, is basically surrounding um, it not being signed Henry Chadwick. Um, again, you know, quality versus quantity type thing, I guess you can call it. Um, if I was a friggin' millionaire and I had all the money in the world, of course, I would hold out for uh, full Henry Chadwick. Um, or down the road, you know, if I... Uh, wanted to, I can probably uh, pick one up and sell this one, but um, I think this definitely satisfies it. Um, it is signed, uh, his name, it's signed Henry. Um, so to me, it's Henry Chadwick, and it's a signature. Um, so uh, it counts for me, obviously, in a perfect world, I would have both, you know, front, first and last name, but that is what it is. Players sign their nicknames. Players sign different on legal documents versus baseballs and, and sports cards. So there's plenty of variations and pl plenty of discussions as to as to whether this is a you know you would consider this a um, a signature or not. Um, but uh, really, really, really cool. Really, really happy to have it. I couldn't believe the price. I'm counting it. Um, let me know your thoughts. Um, uh, on uh, YouTube here um, as to what you think um, 
but uh, really, really cool, really pe undeniably his, um, and that is the father of baseball, Henry Chadwick, number 255 in my collection. So thank you all for watching. Like and subscribe. Take care.